Welcome back, guys. Yes, I did make 21, approximately $21,000 with a Timu product over the last three days prior to shooting this video. And I'm gonna run you through the process of how I found the product, how I imported it, how I'm fulfilling it. Just basically a simple walkthrough of how you can do product research on Timu and how you can then fulfill those orders since Timu doesn't allow drop shipping. But for a second, let's talk about what is Timu. Timu hopped on the scene in September of 2022. They're owned by PDD Holdings and their estimated revenue for the first quarter of 2023, I believe, uh, was $15 billion. So these guys are, they hit the scene hard. Like they, they blew up out of nowhere. They are essentially the international Amazon at this point. It's pretty impressive what they've done. If you were to browse their website right now, and I'm sure some of you already have, you'll notice a lot of very familiar products. In fact, a lot of the products on Timu are AliExpress products, or at least they exist also on AliExpress. But there is a pretty significant difference, something that has me really, really excited. And that is the image quality on Timu. Not sure why the images are so much better on Timu. Maybe they have some sort of requirement for the image quality, but I, you know, that's not really that important as far as why it, it is the way it is. But the fact that we have access to higher quality images is fairly significant because the majority of the products that I test for drop shipping, I use image ads for. And having access to higher quality images means a greater success rate in the testing process and the ability to scale these products even higher. There are a few other advantages to Timu, like their navigation, uh, I believe to be far superior to AliExpress. In fact, the product research that I'm doing on Timu now seems to take me a whole lot less time than it used to on AliExpress. So just the way they have their site organized, and we'll go through this, the categories, the way they're laid out, the fact that they have a new arrivals section, which AliExpress got, got rid of a while back, all add to the fact that I can do my product research in significantly less time by using Timu as compared to AliExpress. Now make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you five products that I found on Timu that I would personally test in my store. But for now, let's dive into Timu, and I'm going to show you exactly how I found that product that generated me $21,000 in the last three days. All right, guys, so first things first, you need to download a couple of extensions for Chrome. First one being Image Downloader. This is how we're going to rip the images from Timu. The second one is AliExpress Search by Image. This was created by AliSeeks, and this allows us to right-click the image on Timu and ask it to search AliExpress by this image so that we can find the product on AliExpress. The reason we're doing this is because Timu actually has some rules in place against drop shipping. You might be able to get away with drop shipping from Timu for a little while, but it won't last long before they ban your account. So it's best to just find the product on AliExpress and fulfill from there or use a private agent or a 3PL. So here we are on Timu, and the reason why I really, really like doing product research here is because they have so many categories. They've done an incredible job of building out this navigation on their website. And this just gives me so many ideas for, you know, for product research. And I find myself exploring categories that I wouldn't normally be in because there's so many options here. Now, another section of this website that I really really enjoy using is the new arrivals section. You'll understand why they're giving me these product recommendations here in a second, because I found a, patri a patriotic item to share with you all. But this allows us to see things that have been uploaded recently. All right. And if you know anything about my strategy, we focus intensely on products that are untapped things that have not been scaled by competitors, things that are not being tested by competitors. And that allows us to really generate the best margins. Okay, uh, real quick, this is how we do it. I found this patriotic tie, I told you I found a patriotic product. And the reason why I clicked on this is because we've got July 4th coming up. So this is actually something that I would personally run in my store. After I've found this product, the, the next part in the process is to right click the main image. You can even try it on some of the secondary images here. And then we hit search AliExpress by image. And this will open Ali Seeks for us. And here we go. Here's the exact same tie, just with lower quality images. This image is okay, but this one is way better. And so is this one. And we can use, if you watch my last video, 
can actually use Adobe Photoshop beta to fill out the rest of this image and make it a one by one square image. So this is a pretty good example of why I like Timu better. It's 491, so it's a little bit more expensive than Timu, but if you were to source it through a private agent, which is generally what I advise everybody to do after you've identified the product as being a winner. So once you have about 10 orders for a product, then it's time to bring in a professional to help fulfill for you. And in 95% of cases, you're gonna be able to source it cheaper than AliExpress. So now that we've confirmed that this product is available on AliExpress, Express so we can actually fulfill our orders. Then we'll use the image downloader extension you'll see here on the top right. I have it in my browser and we will click that and then we can go ahead and select the images that we want to download. All right. And then I will import the product from AliExpress using the DSers extension. That's how I personally do it. And then I'll swap out the images in Shopify with the Timu images. Let's go ahead and try this with a couple more products that I found on Timu for you guys. Uh, here is a bookend book storage rack for a desk, or any type of uh, personal space here. So let's right click search AliExpress by image. And here we go. It's a bit more expensive than the Timu version, um, but that might mean that you can get it that cheap from your private agent or 3PL. And let's try it again with these uh, barefoot shoes. These are some really good photos. So we will search AliExpress by image and Alex <laughs> Ali Seeks is only does this from time to time. There we go. All right, so we found the same sneakers. And as you can see, image quality is significantly lower quality here than it was on Timu. And we'll just do one more here for you really quick. Uh, I really like these soap dish holders because you could bundle these uh, and they look pretty nice. And there we go. Again, easy, easy to find, not a big deal. All right, guys, so as I promised, I have five products for you that I would personally test in my store and they're not the ones I showed in this video. I put them in a PDF for you in my Discord. So check the video description for the link to my Discord and the PDF will be there for you to download. That's it, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully this was useful. And I mean, I, I know that it is. I hope that you implement it because I think it'll make a big difference in your product research process and your ability to find winning products and higher quality creatives. And I will see you guys in my Discord.